All right, so let's see here. We've gotten both packages open. We counted the candy in both packages. We made little tables that show the colors of these candies and the frequency, how many there were of each kind in those bags. And I did it for the big bag. Obviously, this is the big bag. And I did it for the small bag over here, right? And I used the copy and paste feature to help myself just a little bit. Okay, now I need to find the relative frequencies because I think, oh, you know what? Before I go any further, I don't want to have to retype all this, right? So I'm going to go up here to the file menu. I'm going to choose save as. And I want to save it. I'm going to save it. I could save it to my desktop. I could save it to my documents in my O33 folder, whatever. You want to save it someplace um, that you know where it is and you can get access to it again real quickly. For me, I'm going to put it up here. O33 yummy. Oops, let's see if the, the instructions have, if the project has instructions for how it should be saved. Ooh, look. The, the end right there. Your last name, your first name, project one. Hmm, that's kind of, I'm not going to call it project one, <laughs> I could call it yummy project. But it definitely has to have your last name and first name with it. All right. So, in fact, I'm going to change that for future, but I'll worry on that later. All right, so I'm going to call it 030, here. Tucky Alana Yummy Project or something like that or you could call it project one whatever and if you want to make it separated you can use the underscore which is shift it looks like the dash it's up by the equal sign between it's the button between the zero and the equal sign you could do that too but you got to have your name in there otherwise your instructor won't know who the heck is submitting this um, and it helps if they have some idea which project it is because of course this isn't the only project you'll be submitting online so you could say project one you could say yummy project technically it's project two this time I'm making this video but that might not stay that way okay I'm calling it the yummy project and then I'm gonna save it now I'm paying attention to where I'm saving it I'm saving it to the desktop but that might not be wise for you it depends on your computer right one thing's for sure if you do save it on a computer that isn't yours like on campus or a friend's computer for the love of goodness email it to yourself um, send it to yourself as an email attachment right away and open that attachment and make sure you can get into it because there's nothing worse than doing an hour or two worth of work and then having it all disappear. Speaking of which, as we keep going, see this icon right up here? It looks like, well, it actually looks like a disc. Old school, right? <laughs> they don't make discs anymore. But, but right up there, if you click on that as you go or you just type control hold on the control key and s you want to save it continuously as you go you don't want to lose it and always make sure you've sent your instructor the finished version i can't tell you how many students forgot to save before the end and so when they emailed it to me it was a half done version right so make sure you've saved it make sure you've looked it over before you email it to your instructor at the end all right now back we go here to the relative frequencies now that we've saved it that way we won't lose our work oops Come back. Ah, there it is. All right, so now we need to head to finding that relative frequencies. We filled in our frequencies, right? We already did that. But now we need to find the relative frequencies using Excel formulas. All right, now this is your first step into a larger world. Excel is a really big deal. Um, let's see how to put this. It's, it's really big in terms of using formulas you can use formulas to help yourself and get out of a lot of work you just don't realize it yet right so what i'm going to do down here is i'm going to find the total so the way you do that are you ready for it you're going to type equals that's that tells excel you want to start a formula then you say s u m sum and then you're going to tell it what it what you want it to sum which is all these frequencies close your parentheses enter and there it is you can tell that my bag of candy had 311 oops yeah, I made it bigger for you to see 311 pieces of candy in there by the way I did that by holding down the control key and sliding um the scroll button on your mouse or you could use this guy over here in the right corner see I'm at 130 percent right now I could drag it back to 96 or I could make it 150 etc all right now we want to do it again over here equals sum of cells F3 through F7. And there it is. It added them up for us. 